Dennis Kelleher joining us right now. He's the CEO of Better Markets. It's a nonprofit focused on financial policy. All right, Dennis, let's start there here. When we talk about the added, the potential addition of risk for investors who maybe gravitate to these ETFs here, is there something materially different between the risk they would face after an approval of an ETF relative to what they have now in trying to acquire Bitcoin or any crypto asset? Well, you know, the risks they face don't change. People need to remember that no matter what the, the SEC does today, um, we're talking about a fundamentally worthless financial product. Tomorrow and yesterday, Bitcoin will still have no legitimate use. Tomorrow, uh, yesterday and tomorrow, they'll still remain it will remain the preferred financial product for speculators gamblers and criminals it will still be uh, a cesspool of fraud manipulation and criminality and you don't have to take my word i mean we put better markets detailed study after study in the letters and discussions with the sec there's a comprehensive study of 29 exchanges for example that showed that as much as 77.5 percent of the total trading volume of unregulated exchanges was due to wash trading yeah. that's going to continue the other thing that's going to continue is no effective cop on the beat. So the CFTC is supposed to be the one monitoring the spot Bitcoin market. Right. It's got a tiny budget. It's understaffed. It's There's no cop on the beat there. Those are things are not going to change, and those are going to threaten many, many more investors. Well, well and let me ask you why that wouldn't change. I mean, wouldn't just the default of having a regulated instrument uh, to, to have this put the onus on regulators to actually step up to the plate. I mean, they can't just approve this and then step back and say, okay, you're all left to your own devices. Well, one would think that, and you know, Romaine, you put your finger on it. That's exactly what investors are going to think. They're going to take false comfort in thinking the SEC approval and probably re interpret that as a de facto approval of crypto and Bitcoin itself rather than just the ETF. And they're going to think, well, they would never do that without having investor protection and the proper regulation. But that's not true. The ETF itself, which will be regulated by the SEC, will in fact be regulated, but that's only the vehicle that's being used to sell, make crypto much more available to mm -hmm. investors. The underlying spot market, however, is where the trading happens and the, all the prices on the ETF is going to be based on yeah. the spot trading. The spot trading market is not regulated. There's mm -hmm. no effective cop there. That's where the fraud is. Yeah. People need to understand that they're not buying a crypto token. They're literally buying a chip that you would get at a casino. 